Hey, hey y'all, it's Casey Hope from Pizzazz, and I am here to show you another fun little something something to do with the kiddos. I know lots of people are um, out of school, maybe you're on vacation, maybe, who knows, like uh, you are looking for something to do to keep those little ones busy. And so every day this week, we have come on and shown you a fun little doodle that uh, they can do along with you. If you have missed any of those, just if, you were, if you're on our Facebook page, just click on videos and you should see it. If you are on our our YouTube page. Uh, they're all right there. So you can go back and scroll through and find all kind of fun things for the kids to draw and to paint. Uh, if your kiddos are wanting even more, we do have our kids club membership open this summer. And inside of that, we take them through even more art using more mediums, more drawing, painting, uh, using model magic, just a lot of fun stuff. We even have our kids club plus where if they want to get stuff sent to the house um, full of like their artist posters and their I did it check checklists and stickers and a few fun products. Um, we've got that too. So just throwing that out there. If you were looking for an extra fun something to look forward to, we release new projects inside that membership every single month. And it's on a private platform. So it's not on YouTube or on Facebook. So you don't have to worry about kids scroll around all over the place. Um, it is on our private platform. There's an app, our Kajabi app. They can click it and their, um, their videos are right there. So if you've got questions, Questions about our kids club feel free to um to shoot us a message on that but it is open um during the summer so that you can hop in and get to work on some fun art projects it's a fun time to try new things uh today i'm going to show you something a little different okay a lot of times i'm showing you some very step-by-step -step drawings or paintings today i'm going to show you a fun activity that you can do again and again and again and it's called dot monsters if you've ever played that or ever even heard of it, let us know in the comments. I'm, I'm curious if you have. This is something that we used to do when I was a school teacher. Um, we've done it here in the art camps. If we have any extra time left over, it is just something that kind of bumps your creativity. So the way that you do it is you are going to close your eyes and do like you pick a number and do that many dots. Cade, do you want to come do this? Do you want to be in here and do it? No? Okay. All right. So Cade, my son is over here. I thought he might want to do it. Um, all right. So uh, I'm just going to close my eyes and make like 30 dots. Okay. So here we go. Okay, now you could do all the way up to 50. Okay, so kids, you're going to close your eyes. You're going to make lots of dots on your paper. So you pick a number. And it needs to be a, high, a higher number. And then you are going to try to connect all the dots. Now, they don't, here's the thing, though. They don't have to be in straight lines. So sometimes when you're connecting, like if these are two dots, you could do a straight line or it could be a curvy line or it could be a zigzag line. Okay, so you're just connecting the dots and you can have fun with how you want to do it. So like you can go here, here, here. Do you see? Like I'm just, it's fun, crazy lines. Um but I'm connecting them all. Let's see. There's no right or wrong. I'm just thinking I'm, I'm connecting and I'm either doing a curved line, a zigzag line, a swervy line. Um, I could do a, um, a straight line if I wanted to. Okay, so there's some straight lines. All right, so I connected them all using all different kinds of line. And then the reason that we call them dot monsters is we want you to start using your imagination <clears throat> and start turning it and seeing, is there any way that we can do this <clears throat> to where it starts to look like a monster? Okay, so I'm turning and I'm looking. I feel like this way. I feel like when I turn it this way, I feel like I'm seeing like a big old like chompers. You know what I mean? Like that's what I see. I see a big old teeth right here. Um, so I'm gonna make these look like teeth. I'm going to put an eye right there. So we got eye, we got teeth. I might even do like a, a tongue, like a crazy tongue coming out here. Okay, um, let's see. I'll add some little line here for like that's chin. Um, let's see. This could be like the something on its back. 
and let's see what is this is just like his crazy little feet i guess like if you wanted to add shoes on it i guess you could <laughs> so you could have uh like shoes uh and so you just kind of look and add details where needed you can even add extra details if you wanted to so like if i wanted to put little t-shirt here okay i could do a shirt and that looks like it's kind of pointing its finger at somebody. So I don't have to add a ton more details, um, but I can. This is just an extra little growth or something back there. So it's just crazy little uh, ways that you can turn these things into some fun. And then after you, you know, you connect all your dots, you make your dot monster. Then you might want to name it. Okay. So you name it. Think of a story that goes with it. So maybe uh, you could say, you know, this was, I don't know, you could talk about what it used to be and how it turned into this and how it uses those teeth to what does it eat? What kind of things does it eat? Like just have fun, use your imagination and take some dots that you did while you had your eyes closed. Um, you connect the line, uh, create a crazy looking dot monster and and then just have fun with it have fun making up a name making up a story if you want to paint it you definitely can so i'll just add a little bit of watercolor in here may even do some um wet into wet so i'll do all of this head yellow and orange maybe this is not something that's going to be like, oh, that's a pretty drawing. Uh, -uh it's not about that. <laughs> this is a, this is an activity that you can just do again and again and again, and you've got to, uh, you've got to stretch your imagination. Uh, I don't know how many kids nowadays go and look up at the clouds and make pictures, but I used to love doing that. And this is very similar. This is looking at shape and thinking, what can I turn that into? Um, so I'm going to drop in a little bit of this and it really can be when I taught school, we really did extend this. So instead of just a quick little drawing, now we name it. Now we think of a story about it. Now we write the story about it. Okay. So if you're wanting to work on those writing skills, um, uh, developing a story, look, working at your capitalization, your spelling, all this stuff, like you can really extend this starting with just a few dots on a page and it's just a little fun so now i'm gonna do some purples and blues down here for the little crazy shirt autumn says it looks like a pac-man monster yeah kind of does chomp chomp uh let's see a little bit of purple and a little more water into that And maybe some green shoes. And that's all really. Okay. So easy peasy, not a fancy, beautiful look. I'm looking at this right here. So this cute little dinosaur. This is one that Kaylee did. This is a really cute, pretty dinosaur. And um, and it's fun. This is not what this is though. This draw, the dot monsters is just crazy fun. Okay. Just dot, 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 connect them, see what we can make. Give me another piece of paper, dot, 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 dot. Close your eyes when you're doing it. Connect the lines or connect the dots and see what you can make. So that's a fun little activity I wanted to share with you today. You can do this anywhere. It doesn't have to be with um, watercolor paper. If you're in the car and you just have copy paper, a notebook pad, and a pen, kids can do it with a pen. You know, you don't even have to add color. So I uh, hope you have fun with this. Hope this is something new for you. Um, hope you've got somebody, uh, some kiddo that might enjoy it. And again, if you are interested in our kids club, it's not always open, um, but for a little bit during these summer months, we do have it open. Um, we've got some fun stuff that we are doing inside of that. We take some of what we are doing at our art camps here at the studio and we're doing them inside the kids club. So um, I think you'll like it. Check it out. There's a link at the top of this this page. Um, and for now, that is it. I hope y'all have a good weekend. If you do this, uh, let me see. I love seeing what you do. So remember, just send us a text 1-334-249-1818. We are drawing for a winner in less than an hour based on entries of people texting us their pictures from the week. So um, it's not an art contest. It's just a random draw looking at the entries that have come in through our text list. So um, so that's it for today. Hope y'all have a good weekend and we will see y'all soon. All right, y'all. See ya, see ya.